Welcome to my channel. Today's story, The Dear Brothers. Once upon a time, there was a deer who was the leader of the herd of a thousand. He had two sons, one was very slim and tall, with bright alert eyes and smooth reddish fur. He was called Beauty. The other was gray in color, also slim and tall, and was called Gray. One day after they were fully grown, their father called Beauty and Gray to him. He said, My sons, I'm now very old, so I can do all that is necessary to look after this big herd of deer. I want you, my two grown-up children, to be the leaders. While I retired from looking after them all the time, we will divide the herd and each of you will lead 500 deer, and so it was done. In India, when the harvest time comes, the deer are always in danger. The rice is at its tallest, and the deer cannot help but go to into the paddies and eat it, to avoid the destruction of their crops, the human beings. Dick Pitts set sharp stakes in the ground and built stone traps, all to capture and kill the deer. Knowing this was the season, the wise old deer called the two new leaders to him. He advised them to take the herds up into the mountain forest far from the dangerous farmlands. This was how he had always saved the deer from being wounded or killed. Then he would bring them back to the lowlands after the harvest was over. Since he was too old and weak for the trip, he would remain behind in hiding. He warned them to be careful and have a safe journey. Beauty set out with his herd for the mountain forest, and so did Gray with his. The villagers, all alone, knew that this was the time the deer moved from the low-lying farmlands to the high countryside. So they hid along the way and killed the deer as they passed. Gray didn't pay attention to his father's wise advice. Instead of being careful and traveling safely, he was in a hurry to get to the last mountain forest. So he moved his herd constantly during the night at dawn and dusk, and even in broad daylight. This made it easy for the people to shoot the deer in Gray's herd with bows and arrows. Many were killed and many were wounded, only to die in pain later on. Gray reached the forest with only a few deer remaining alive, but the tall, sleek, red fort beauty was wise enough to understand the danger to his moving herd. So he was very careful. He knew it was safer to stay away from villages and from all humans. He knew it was not safe in the daytime or even at dawn or dusk. So he let his heart wide around the villages and move only in the middle of the night. Beauty's heart arrived in the mountain forest safe and sound with no one killed or injured. The two herds found each other and remained in the mountains until well after the harvest season was over. Then they began the return to the farmland country. 
Gray had learned nothing from the first trip, as it was getting cold in the mountains. He was in hurry to get to the warmer lowlands, so he was just as careless as before. And again, the people hid along the way and attacked and killed the deer. All Gray's herd were killed, later to be eaten or sold by the villagers. Gray himself was the only one who survived the journey. Beery led his herd in the same careful way as before, and again he brought back all 500 deer completely safe. All the deer were still in the distance, the old chief said to his doe. Look at the deer coming back to us. Beery has all his followers with him. Gray comes limping back alone without his whole herd of 500. Those who follow a wise leader with good qualities will always be safe. Those who follow a foolish leader who is careless and thinks only to himself will fall into troubles and be destroyed. After some times, the old deer died and was reborn as he deserved. Beauty became chief of the herd and lived a long life. Loved and admired by all. You see in life, the third is you are bored you are beauty and you are gray. Your leader is within your heart, within your head. It is up to you which voice you listen to. Will you listen to gray or to beauty? Will you be selfish and only think of yourself and move full of fear and history? Or will you be brave to take care of yourself as well as everyone around you, your family, your friends, your community. The choice is yours. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.